And All right. Surface it's and raining a little bit here. Junk car removal but we as got well. Alaska so Airlines 737 has landed with some special guests. Geez, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think they brought something fun for the crowd. So we'll see what they have here. Good evening, everybody. So I got distracted and did not vlog at all during this whole light painting this evening. Um, but it went great, it was awesome. We light painted this beautiful, oh, where is it? There it is, X330. So be looking for that light painting uh, to come out soon. Um, we've got some other beautiful planes in this hangar that we were with. All of the uh, performers' planes are in here. Uh, including some of these warbirds and this um, Spitfire. That's what it's called, Spitfire right there. So yeah, it was uh, awesome photographing the extra 330. And Brian, thank you for your help. Brian's over there. Ooh, there he is. He's getting ready to turn off the lights. So we got another day uh, tomorrow. We've got to be up at nine. Very, very exciting, um, special portrait that we get the opportunity to make tomorrow. And I'll have more details for you uh, on that later. For now, I'm signing off. We're gonna go home, we're gonna go to bed, and we'll see you later. Good morning, everybody. It is day three of the air show, and today we have a very special portrait that we are uh, getting the privilege to do. Um, we are meeting Colonel Dick Cole, who, for those of you who don't know, um, he was Jimmy Doolittle's co-pilot in the Doolittle Raid back uh, at the beginning of World War II. And if you guys still don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last hour of Pearl Harbor and uh, you get a better idea. But he is the last of the Doolittle Raiders to be uh, living. He's 103 years old and uh, we are gonna go do a portrait of him in front of the plane that they flew in the Doolittle Raid, which is the B-25 bomber. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do much vlogging because I'm just gonna be busy while I'm, I'm getting it done, but I will definitely share the images with you later. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, Ugh. we are getting up inside the B-25 bomber. This is the plane that was used not, not the plane, but the type of plane that was used in the Doolittle Raids. We're gonna check it out in here really quickly while we're waiting for Colonel Cole to come by. Here's the uh, instrument panel and controls. Looking out over the windows. Very cool. Such a unique, cool piece of history here back here and down below a little bit lower let me try to crawl through if I can uh, okay through here is the gunner bay crawling through here 
and literally on my hands and knees, you can see it's a very tight passage. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm just laying down. But here's the seat right there. And the gun out the front column of the window here. Oh, I'm going to try to get up here quickly. Here we go, in the gunner bay. Brian's gonna take a picture of us. All right, good, we got a picture. Okay, very cool. I would not want to be here in wartime, because this just doesn't feel very secure when there are bullets flying. But a little bit like uh, Star Wars. All right, let's crawl back through here. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Tight quarters. I can't imagine. I wonder how quickly they could get to this gunner bay when they needed to. Or if somebody, I guess somebody was just up there the whole time. But, okay. That's all for now. I'm gonna get back down. done with the shoot. Colonel Cole is going to sign some autographs and uh, enjoy his coffee. Had the plane in the background. Photos, I think, came out. I mean, they're going to be amazing no matter what. I don't know. I won't know until I see him later, but um, he can't go wrong when you have such a fantastic subject like that and um, the nicest guy. So kind and, I mean, he's just 103 years old. He's willing to go out of his way and, and do anything to help anyone and just you can tell the genuine excitement and joy he has in meeting people. So, fantastic way to start the day. <sighs> Got some more work to do, see you in a bit. everybody it is the next day the air show's over it was fantastic uh, we had fireworks the first night we did the light painting the next night um, and we did a portrait of uh, Dick Cole that following morning and everything just was fantastic so wonderful long weekend I'm exhausted I was exhausted I'm, I'm okay now I'm recovering but that's why I totally didn't do an outro or anything uh, last night. We just got done, came home, pretty much passed out. Um, but yeah, it was a great weekend. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of the behind the scenes stuff uh, and enjoyed the images that we got. And uh, got uh, I don't know, busy week coming up. So we will see you next time. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And we will talk to you soon. All right, bye.